You got your great little piece of artwork. You don't want to save it as an AI. We did that in the previous segment. You've got to rasterize it. You need to make it into a PSD. No big deal. Just know a couple of things and you're going to be fine. Go up the word file on the pull down menu and go down to export. Give it a name that makes sense and put it somewhere where you're going to find it again. Change the format to PSD. Click export. Options. Color model. This is not rocket science, folks. What I want you to think about here is where is the document that's receiving Mr. Buggy and what is it? Open that up in Photoshop and figure it out. I want to know the resolution and I want to know the color model or I ain't going nowhere. Change the color model to fit the color model of the Photoshop receiving document. Change the resolution to the exact precise resolution of the receiving document. I work a lot in 300. But I want to tell you something. If the resolution of that document is 305, then I want to see the number 305 in here because any variance will impact quality. Your other options, do you want to turn it into paint? Flatten it out. You want to be able to do some modification in Photoshop? Then go write layers. Do you want to preserve text and maximum editability? You can't. Click those buttons. It makes a file bigger, but it gives you the ability to modify it within Photoshop, even though it's an Illustrator document. Anti-aliasing, I call it coding. What it does, remember this is being converted into pixels. There's a coding that it puts on the edges. That's again what I call it. Couple of pixels on the edge that blend to the background to help the eye see a smoother surface. In most cases, I'm gonna leave that on. Did you embed an ICC profile? Color profile, well then use it. Helps preserve color between the two applications. Oh, and one other thing. If your color model is not the exact color model, of the receiving application in Photoshop, you won't be able to write layers. So make sure you get it right. It's not rocket science. Sometimes we have to take our images from a nice Illustrator document into raster, know the numbers, you'll get it right every time.